Welcome back to TikTok Rack Reactions. It's me, yours truly, the Mammary Menace, Dalton Pruitt. All right, I got to be careful. I got to tread lightly uh, because the TikTok censors came down hard on me for that pair of uh, St. Ides that I reviewed the other day. So I got to do a little stealth, a little espionage. You know, I got to crawl around in a cardboard box, Metal Gear Solid style, to sneak around the uh, the censors. You know, I got to be careful in my language. But, my, I mean, my, my, this pair came across my desk, and, oh, them things is nasty. And I don't mean that disrespectfully. I mean nasty in the best way. Nasty like how Miles Davis was nasty on the trumpet. I've said this before, but boobs are a lot like jazz. Uh, you know, like, w w when you, with jazz, it, it's a musical uh, form, genre, it's an art form that allows for so much freedom and creativity and expression and the thing is there's no rules and it's the same with boobs there's just there's no rules it's, it's total complete freedom when it comes to boobs you know from bug bites to slobber knockers petite perkies to ample handfuls to heavy hangers naturals fakers all are welcome and free to explore within their field and it, it's it's the same it, with the the great american art form that is jazz uh because you know in jazz you, you certainly have your more button down traditional uh uh big band swang groups that are reminiscent of uh you know uh, just tight taut firm regal uh, sets and racks you know you get you got your count basies and duke ellingtons uh, Glenn Miller, Benny Goodman, go a little more contemporary, maybe even Winton and Branford Marsalis, perhaps. Uh, and, and those those are all the, the you know, the classic, uh, formal, you know, wearing a suit, uh, playing the arrangement, allowing for some improvisation, but definitely, you know, uh, sticking to the arrangement and, and putting on a, a, a sort of a black tie a fair kind of show uh a pair like this reminds me of the just sl almost the sloppy meanderings that you would hear from somebody like miles davis or charlie parker or maybe even charles mingus uh you know a couple of ah ums we're looking at uh, a couple of love supremes a couple of uh blue and greens a couple of freddie freeloaders you know what i mean and it's it's interesting because you know when you listen to those those arrangements those compositions that, that those uh, the, that were played the those improvisations those moments those sort of musical soliloquies that happen can seem very um just out, almost out of place and you know like just wandering around meandering uh, kind of sloppy you know, you're wondering, is he nodding off on heroin while he's playing the trumpet? And it's like, maybe. But at the end of the day, you know, somebody like Miles Davis knew exactly what he was doing. He had the arrangement in his head. He had the tempo. Uh, he knew exactly where he was. It was just, you know, freely exploring and swinging around the uh, composition. And, and that's what I'm getting from these milkers right here. Them things are not conforming to uh any sort of standard set forth by anything them things is just swanging and flabbing and clap bouncing jiggling and clapping and, and i love it you know i, I love seeing the, this uh free form expression of, of uh adipose and muscle that that are uh memories um and it, you know it, and it just it really broadens one's horizons when it comes to uh the the way we interpret uh racks and, and uh you know honkers um as far as the you know the presentation goes i mean them yeah i mean them things is hanging they're dropped in there they're they're swinging and jiggling in this uh, just lovely um uh sort of pared down uh a black top and you know what do i always say folks meat and mystique and, and much like jazz you know jazz is the notes you don't you, the jazz is the notes you don't play when it comes to presenting uh boobies 
uh, boobies are the meat you don't see. You know what I mean? So anyway, uh, 10 out of 10 wood motorboat. 